and it's done before I even say hello. Whoops. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's vlog. Today, I don't, what, what is happening today? Oh, <laughs> today's actually a very exciting day because today is the day that the contractors are getting started with legit professional demo, AKA things are about to start moving quickly. So they got to my place around 9 a.m. We have the general contractor coordinating everything. So it's very like hands off. We essentially don't have to show up at all, but obviously we're gonna go every single day to track the progress. We're gonna do progress meetings just to make sure that we are all on the same page as this journey continues on. Very, very excited for that. So we're gonna go at the end of the day today to see what kind of demo work they have done. Very, very excited that they're starting, which means like progress is happening to the point where I will eventually move into this home. I'm very excited, but I have a lot going on today. I'm actually going to curl a little bit of my hair. This is it, air dried, natural. Really trying to not put heat on my hair as much as possible. I am only doing this because I need to shoot some pictures for Instagram today. So we're gonna just curl a few pieces. We're not gonna do the whole head and make it a whole thing. Honestly, I got a lot going on in my head right now. I'm feeling very overwhelmed. I'm feeling like there's just a lot. I actually posted on my Instagram story being like, does anyone else feel off right now because I just don't feel 100%. You know, like I'm good, but I just don't really know where I'm at. Like, I just feel like I'm, I said, I said this to my dad yesterday. I said like, I feel like a thing floating in space. Like I'm just kind of like, I don't know where my life is going. I don't know what the future looks like. Just, you know, living in weird times, you could say. Today's actually a really busy day. I have a lot on my to-do list. I really want to make a new intro, like a little mini intro for my vlogs. Actually, if I managed to accomplish that today, you will have seen that at the beginning of this video. Let me know what you think of it. So every year I tend to make a new intro after Vlogmas. I didn't really do that this year. I just, I don't know. I was kind of like, let's just not. No particular reason for that, but I kind of want to have like a two second thing, like just something quick and little. I don't know. I'm going to brainstorm that this afternoon and work on something, experiment a little bit and see what we come up with. So I want to do that. I'm going to go on a little walk with my mom. We're just going to walk down Young Street just to like get out, catch up. I'm with my dad like every single day. So it'll be nice to just go on a walk with my mom. We're going to get a coffee, which is funny because I already have one, but you know, it's going to be a double coffee kind of day. It really actually lines up with what I have to do today. So we're gonna be nice and hyped and I love that for me. I have my blind dating recording this afternoon. It's actually at five o'clock again. So that extra caffeine will really come in clutch. Let's see, what else can I ramble about? What's going on with you guys? How are you guys doing? Hope all of you guys are doing okay, getting through. Also, I used this like last night, the Drug Elephant Retinol Cream and my skin feels and looks pretty good. My skin is like really smooth looking right now. It feels very soft. So I will link this down below in case you are curious. This is where we're gonna leave it for the hair. I'm gonna change it to my PJs. Actually, let me show you them because they're really cute. Here are my cute little PJs of the day. Love, love, love. It's a super lightweight, cozy set. Absolutely love this. I have like too many pajamas right now. So sometimes I forget the pajamas that I have and I rediscovered these last night and I'm obsessed. They're so comfy. I will also link these down below. My slippers, it's just a vibe. I quite honestly like do not wear regular clothes anymore. I wear comfy clothes and pajamas. It's my style these days, but I am about to change and pretend that I actually wear real clothes. So, okay, I'm gonna do my makeup really fast. Let me know if you would like to see like a get ready with me. I haven't done that in forever. Like a little chit chat, get ready with me. Let me know if you'd wanna see that and maybe I'll do like a main channel video. Let me know. All right, makeup is done. I'm going to get dressed, put on a little outfit. I don't know what I'm gonna wear because I don't know how to put together outfits anymore, but we're gonna try. And then we're gonna go out for a little walk with my mom and then we'll come back and do some more work this afternoon. All right, here ah, is my outfit. I actually think it's pretty cute. Wearing this little sweater, it's like, you know what? You can't see it all. Can't really see what's going on. It's a full black fit with some nice neutral accessories. We got this hat that I got from Topshop. My jacket from Revolve. It's gonna keep me nice and cozy. I'm also wearing these black jeans with fleece leggings underneath. So definitely nice and layered. So yeah, this is a little outfit of the day. And I'm gonna head out and meet my mom and go for a little stroll. kind of cute. This is a nice mood booster. We gotta get dressed more often. <laughs> or just like go out. Just gotta leave the house, man. <sighs> 2021. We have ventured out. Woohoo! Who I am? Can you see? Can I you actually did it. I, I didn't recognize her. When I first came down, I was like, is this my mother? <laughs> because like, 
Hard to say. We just got to Starbucks. Praise. Thanks. It's funny, I always feel like weird when I'm inside places now. I know, right? I have these little weight spots. But it's just like, it feels wrong to be inside. Which makes me sad. Thank you very much. Thanks very much, enjoy your day. Thanks, you too. Thank you. Okay, we both got the honey oat latte. It's just, it's just so good. So good. My mom gets a pump of sugar-free vanilla and then I get a pump of white mocha in here. It's seriously bomb. I have to try and recreate this at home because I'm obsessed. some zooming these are cute we just took some pictures here at this bench yeah I do want to take with the other at the other spot too just to have them Actually, there's one thing that I, do want. I want to get a one of these like feed picks you know so we're just strolling what do we think this says shrooms strong or schmoozy we can't tell this doesn't look like strong because that looks like an H yeah it's definitely so an H. I see Smoothie. I think it's shrooms. I don't know. Either way, this guy was having a good time. <sighs> we are home. That was so helpful just to walk with my mom and like not have my head in a phone or a device because I feel like it's literally all I do and I feel like I've been talking about that so much, but it's something that I think is really starting to like eat at me. <sighs> These shoes are so cute, but so hard to take off. <sighs> Love these boots but they are a bitch to remove. Actually, I get so many questions on these boots. They're from Zara. Just a nice little hour stroll out of the house. It makes such a difference with my mental state. <sighs> I feel like I can like tackle things now, but it's 12.40 and my vlog isn't live. Okay, let's go live. Public, done, and save. Okay, I have quite a bit of shit that I wanna get done in the next few hours, so I'm gonna, gonna start like really getting into it here. Gotta start knocking things off the list. I honestly can't believe how quickly we're wrapping up February. Like, I swear to God. January felt like it was three months long and then February is over here feeling like three days. Like, I feel like it's the first few days of February still. It's not. <sighs> okay, we're gonna power through some work here and yeah. It is a freaking winter wonderland outside right now. I'm just like sitting here watching it get crazier and crazier and the view gets foggier and foggier slash just like the snow is coming down harder. So it's just looking like a sheet of white out there. It looks crazy. It's 2.30 now. I had a good cry. <laughs> Some point in the day where I'm not so fine, but then I'm fine again. We good, we Gucci. We're just working on boundaries and figuring out how to navigate stuff. <clears throat> I ordered groceries on Instacart that are, actually they just arrived. Have a good day. Cause I'm fresh out of food. So I ordered some groceries. I will go get those from the lobby right now and then give you guys a haul. All right, grocery haul. We got some bok choy. People always come for me for the way that I say it. I'm not trying to pronounce it wrong. Bok choy, bok choy. I'm not trying to say bok choy. I'm trying to say bok. Bok choy. I don't know, man. I don't know. Got some chipotle and cheddar salad kit because I want to make some wraps and put some salad in there. Got some cantaloupe, two things of grape tomatoes so I can make more of the feta pasta. It's on my list. Got some honey because I'm going to attempt to make the honey oat latte. We're gonna experiment and find a way to recreate it. Two little cans of corn. Got some asparagus, some avocados, and some tofu. Oh man, I just remembered something that I wanted to get. Oh, I hate when that happens. I wanted to get more of my baby bells. I love baby bell. Ugh, bummer. Oh uh, yes, I did have the empty wrapper in there. I got two things of wraps, because I, as I said, want to make more wraps. Got some more noodles. We like rotini over here. And lastly, I got the regular President's Choice black cold brew. So we're gonna give this one a try. A lot of people were suggesting that I get the one from stock, but that wasn't available on Instacart. So we're trying the original cold brew from President's Choice. So it's questionable because their hazelnut one was really bad, but I have higher hopes for this one. People were saying that the original is better. So we shall see. But yeah, so my plan is to try and make the honey oat latte myself tomorrow. So I will take you guys along that for the next vlog and we'll see how it goes. Okay, I'm gonna try and 
knock out some more work. Actually, I'm gonna have a little snack while I get some more work done. I'm gonna have one of my Built Bars. I'm gonna try the lemon almond cheesecake flavor. There are still so many flavors that I have yet to try. I have another fresh box here. So I've just been having the ones that I know I like so far, but there's so many to try. So here we are. Also, actually, let me tell you before I try this. The other night I tried microwaving them and oh my God, I couldn't believe it. It was dessert. I ate it with a fork and it was like melty. You have to try it. Okay, let's try this. Mmm, it's got a really nice lemon flavor. It's not too overpowering. It's good. I will include my 20% off link. Definitely check it out. Actually, it's been making my day seeing so many of you guys message me saying you used the link and tried them and that you guys also love them now because like these are nuts for protein bars. Like they, they are easily the best protein bars I've ever, ever tried in my entire life, ever. I love them. Mmm, it's dessert. It's like straight up dessert. Okay, I'm gonna eat this. Gonna plow through some work. I have two hours until my pre-recording call for blind dating and then we'll record and then we're gonna go to the house and see what they've done on day one. I'm so excited. Oh wait, I need water. Water. Okay, welcome back to my floor setup here. It is 4.57, had my pre-recording call for 30 and now I am prepping to actually do the recording. Actually, for those of you that have been asking me how you can submit yourself for blind dating. Also, if you don't know, I have a show with Spotify. I will link it down below. It is free to listen to. It's very fun. It's like a little dating show and I have so much fun hosting it. But for those of you that have wanted to submit yourself to be on the show, they're actually giving me a link to give to you guys and for anyone that listens to submit themselves. So I'll have that link in the description if you want to be on the show. It's honestly very fun. We have a good time. I used to be really nervous before every recording, but I've gotten a lot more comfortable with it. Like I have a good idea of what's going on and I actually have fun with it now. Like it's something that was way out of my comfort zone when the opportunity was given to me and I like honestly didn't think I'd be able to do it. Like I just like, panic, but I didn't want to say no because I knew it was a good opportunity. And now it is really pretty chill for me, which is amazing. It just goes to show that sometimes the things that you think you can't do, once you actually try them, you can do them. And that's how you grow. Your comfort zone expands. No, no, fuck. Oh no, I'm gonna be late. Ugh, this damn computer. As soon as I um, unplugged the charger, which has been charging for hours, it just shut down. And I had everything up on my screen ready to go. I have to connect it with this thing because it connects to the roadcaster. <sighs> we are technically in the retrograde, so this would add up. And that is another episode of Blind Dating. Just wrapped up with the episode. Actually, it's been half an hour now. Episode went great. It's always fun to do. It's 6.30 now. My dad and I are actually gonna go to the house to see what the first day of demo with the contractors looks like. I'm so excited. I wonder if we'll like see anything crazy or not. I don't really know. I have no idea what to expect, but I am looking forward to seeing it. I actually have to drop off a check there for the contractor for the deposit. Yeah, so I'm gonna head out link five and go to the house and go see it. Super stoked. I actually, I haven't been there at night in a while, so I'm excited to see what it looks like at night again. These things, these grabbers. Oh, all around the yeah, yeah, yeah. They're gonna come and rip all of this shit off. They're prepping this for yeah no this is incredible a good day one okay so we're obviously at the house and i want to show you guys a little bit a little sneak peek but you'll see more on friday's video of like what's been going on this week but they started with the demo on the top floor and worked their way down so as of right now they've done the top floor bedroom and the office and i'll show you what that looks like and then friday's video will have more demo stuff but this is like the first day and i gotta show you okay so we're on the top floor right now here's the office they ripped up all the carpet on the stairs as well and then all around here and into the bedroom so they removed everything from the closet over here Ripped up all the carpet obviously and there's garbage bags everywhere yeah, that's crazy yeah they got the really thick heavy duty stuff yeah, heavy duty bags so. this is pretty clean you no. know they could have left it messy this is clean and organized well, i'm telling you this is how he, he operates yeah he likes a clean job site i like that yeah imagine now what uh, tomorrow's gonna look like Right. I guess I'll do more. You're, you're almost concerned to see when this carpet's off, how amazing, I know. How amazing this is going to look. You can already kind of get a vision. And then when this is gone, you know, because this railing it looks pretty dated. Yeah. Every step is going to make such a huge difference. I cannot wait. And this whole blaring light is one thing, but the next it'll be soft. Yeah. Right? Wow. Look at the office. It looks like wood if you 
kind of squint. Uh, like that's yeah. the wood flooring. You're starting to get the look. Yeah. Right. Get rid of the moldings and uh, matte black and candles, you know? Well, da I love the idea of the candles on the inside. I think that's going to be really, really cute. <laughs> it really will. Yeah. And you know, I, I can just see you sitting up here and then lighting. <laughs> I know, I'm going to be at my desk working late, yeah. lighting my little candles. Or if you, you know, come up here with a friend and you light that. And, and then I sit at my little... Sitting at your little area, <laughs> which is so cozy. Oh, this is going to be so nice. It's terrible. It's going to be a yeah, We know how much work it is to get carpet up, so you can imagine each of these little stairs. It's a lot. Like, you know, it's all wrapped underneath, and you know, you can see how hard it is to get each yeah little piece. And then it's going to be a lot of work just to get, you know, this off. Yeah, I'm crazy. They saw our work. They saw our work and I left it. Said, eh. Actually, they did come in. But you know what they did? They said, where are we working tomorrow? Oh, so, yeah. Hence. That adds up. Yeah, so this is going to go very quickly, this, and then they're going to take all... So, so they'll start here, yeah. take this down tomorrow, go in there, and then start removing the rest of the stairs. So they may get all of the carpet. Well, there's so much. I know. All right, guys, back at the apartment. That was so fun over there, like, getting to see it on day one. So exciting. Friday's reno update video, that is going to include the couple days leading up to them coming obviously today and then the following few days to see you know what they've gotten done so far so definitely get hyped for friday's video because this is when like the fun like starts i mean it's been fun the whole time but like shit is happening i got this package that i want to open with you guys Ooh, naked urban decay wild west so this is from urban decay naked wild west eyeshadow palette interesting we have urban decay eyeshadow primer potion og as og as it gets and a new naked palette here's the packaging, let's open it up. Look how stunning that is. All like earthy tones, as we can see. This is really pretty. Actually, it's funny, the last time I was living in Toronto, I remember I was a huge fan. Urban Decay was like the one brand that I wished more than anything would send me PR, because I loved their naked palettes. I mean, who didn't? It's still so cool to me that these brands that I grew up loving send me stuff. Just crazy in high school, like I just never expected this to be my life ever. I'm gonna make the feta pasta again just because it was so good and I got the ingredients and it just sounds like a yummy thing to have for dinner. Also really easy to do, but I actually need to double check what to have my oven preheating at. I'm gonna watch my video and see what I did the first time. Pepper at 400 degrees for 30. 400 degrees, got it. Actually, I guess I may as well kind of prepare it while I wait. And that is about it for now. Actually, good timing, because the oven just beeped. We're gonna put it in. So basically, we just have the block of feta, two things of grape or cherry tomatoes, salt, pepper, oil, that's it. And it's going in. In you go. Hey Siri, set 30 minute timer. 30 minutes counting down. See you in 30. Oh my God. Look how good this looks. So basically I cooked it for the 30 minutes at 400 degrees and then I bumped it up to 450 for like three minutes, which I really think is gonna take this just to the next level. So now I'm gonna add garlic and basil. So some basil. And then this is the garlic I'm gonna put in there. And then the best part, mixing it all together. So mine's kind of heavy on the tomato, as you can see, but I love cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes, whatever you want to call them. I love them. So the more the merrier. I'm gonna add our pasta. Voila, a beautiful dish. Oh my God. I shook over this. It's so easy. Like you just throw it in the oven and then it does everything for you. Very simple. And I love that about it. Okay, I'm just gonna do a little tasty test. You already know. I'm so happy to be eating this right now. I cannot tell you. Tomatoes are so good in it. The whole thing is incredible. And it's full on blizzarding out there tonight. So it's really chill and peaceful in here. Okay, I'm gonna thoroughly enjoy this with my TV on as we do. And I'll check back in later in the evening. Okay guys, dinner was fabulous. Of course, it was just so good. I am going to end the vlog with something I have been meaning to do for a while. I'm going to finally retire the two six balloons. They've been up for far too long. They look like shit now, but I have avoided doing anything with them out of pure laziness. But the day is come, they gotta go. We're almost in March. 
My birthday was almost two months ago. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to share my high and low of the day while sucking the helium out of them. It's a very childish thing to do, but I gotta tell ya, it's something that I still enjoy. 26 years old, I, I think it's funny still. And I'm gonna keep that childlike humor until I die. Keeping life fun, guys. Here we go, we'll start with the high of the day. Okay, oh my god, I haven't <laughs> done this in so long. Well, you have to do more. Okay, I have two highs of the day. High number one was going on a walk with my mom. Oh my god, no one can take me seriously, but I think this is way more fun. Walk with my mom was definitely a high of the day. It really got me out of my head, which I needed, and just enjoyable to get outside and be with my mom. High number two of the day was getting to see the contractors get started and see what work they've done for today. Just seeing it start was really like, exciting and gets me hyped. And my low of the day was, to be completely honest, I saw a comment on my new video. Guess seeing somebody assume the worst in you and not give you any benefit of the doubt just kinda hurts. And it's something that I'm working on, not letting get to me anymore. I've been doing this for a long time, social media, and sometimes shit still hurts. I am not a robot. <coughs> Um, is it still there? It's a little bit there still. Anyways, if you so feel like, I would love for you to share your high and low of the day. I would like to try to incorporate this more in the vlogs because I think it'd be fun. But yeah, I'm going to end the vlog here. I'm going to have a nice little chill night, watch my shows, make my tea, do the whole thing, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.